The Supreme Court case of Donald Trump's tax returns will set a precedent that will dramatically change politics in this country. The case is going to the Supreme Court after a New York appellate court unanimously voted that Trump must release eight years of federal tax returns to a Manhattan district attorney. The Manhattan DA is Cyrus Vance Jr. He subpoenaed the Trump tax returns back in August, and since then, Trump's attorneys have been fighting the subpoenas. And this is where it really gets interesting. Trump's lawyers argue that a sitting president cannot be criminally prosecuted in a local or state jurisdiction, and this is a criminal investigation, which brings us to porn star Stormy Daniels. The allegation is that New York state laws were broken when Trump's company gave fixer Michael Cohen money to pay off the porn star to keep quiet about a sexual encounter she had with Donald Trump. So a case that started with a sexual tryst between a porn star and a reality star could make it to the Supreme Court and have historic implications for future presidents and the country. The constitutional arguments are easy to understand. Trump's lawyers argue that the president has immunity from criminal prosecution, especially at the state and local level. The Manhattan DA counters with it, even if the president has immunity from prosecution, that doesn't prohibit a criminal investigation. Trump's attorneys have already said they are appealing to the Supreme Court, and the court is almost certain to take the case because the constitutionality of a sitting president being criminally investigated at a state or local level has never come up. The backdrop of all of this, of course, is politics. The Democrats have long attacked Donald Trump for not releasing his tax returns back when he was running for president, something that most presidential candidates do long before election day. Should he have released them? I think so. But there's no legal requirement for him to do so. And the voters knew all too well about his stonewalling and elected him anyway. The issue has not gone away since election day. The Democrats have been dogged at trying to get those tax returns. The Democratic House of Representatives have subpoenaed to get the returns and have not been successful. New York Democratic Governor Andrew Cuomo signed a bill passed by a Democratic legislature that would allow the Democratic House of Representatives access to his state tax returns, but that's been blocked in court. And now Manhattan DA Cyrus Vance, a Democrat, has subpoenaed the federal tax returns as part of a local criminal investigation. Trump's lawyers claim that this is all political and they have three years of evidence to support that claim. And now I'm going to ask you to do something that is almost impossible to do in this divisive political environment. I'm gonna ask you to take Donald Trump and this current situation out of the equation. And if you can't do that, at least realize the perilous future for a future president that you may like if the Supreme Court upholds the New York Appellate Court. Do you really want local and state governments to have that kind of power over the federal executive branch to criminally investigate a president? Something that can be used as a political weapon against future presidents, a Democrat like Joe Biden, for instance. There is no question that if he wins, a Republican DA somewhere is going to issue subpoenas for something like business dealings involving his family. So forget the tax returns for a second. Forget Donald Trump. It would be a dangerous precedent to give local authority over the executive branch. It is going to be one of those fascinating Supreme Court cases that really could go either way. But if the justices uphold the ruling of the lower court, I feel sorry for the next president, whoever he or she is. I'm Larry Menti. We'll talk again soon.